Hello, I'm Fantani the Scar Ghost. Today we're going to see very briefly how to set up your Behaptic suit so that you can have haptics in virtual reality. So first things first, uh, when you receive your Behaptics kit, in this case I'm just showing you something for the tact to see arm bracelet, but the first thing that you have to do with every gadget is just recharging it. So you can use whatever USB-C cable. So you can use whatever cable it is suitable for charging the USB-C ending. You attach it here to the box that every gadget has a box like this. Then you take a charger and you attach it to the power outlet. So this way. You see that the light becomes red and um, when it is fully charged it should become white. Sometimes to me it actually just shuts down and it happens after some hours. Uh, Behaptic suggests that the first time you have to charge for instance the shoot at least for four hours and a half. So evaluate these gadgets probably a bit less but evaluate how much to leave them attached to the power outlet. So when you buy it, attach your gadget to the power and leave them for like an afternoon and then the day after you can play with haptics in VR. So after the device is charged, you have to do two things. The first one is taking this Bluetooth dongle that you find in every package and attach it to the USB port of your PC. Notice that you'll find this kind of Bluetooth dongle in every accessory of Behaptic that you will buy, but you just need to attach one for all of them. So you don't need to attach a Bluetooth dongle for every Behaptic device. And after you have attached it, you can turn on the, the Behaptics device after, of course, you have worn it. Um, you can turn on, of course, all the devices. Now I'm just showcasing you the, the bracelet because it's easier. And then you provide to install the software. So let's see how to wear the Behaptic shoot. And it's very, very simple. You just wear it like a standard shoot, a gilet. And you do it like this. Then you have to be sure that it is not too tight, so if you try to close it, it is too tight, you just open the base for here and leave it open, then you come here, you close it on the front, so it seems like a bulletproof vest, and then you close it this way, first this one, then this other one, and you make it tight. My advice is to not make it super tight, otherwise when you breath, it hurts. So probably you have to inhale and then you close it. So. Okay, much better. Now I have room to, um, to breath. Wearing this is also very, very simple. You just have to put this one into this one. So to create like a bracelet. And then you put it inside. Your, your hand, so this has to be here more or less in the arm and you pull it and you close the, the velcro and that's it, you have one hand and do it in the, on the other hand you have two hands in virtual reality actually this is not the hand, this is an arm because the haptics is also some advice to give haptics to your hands the only thing that may be a bit trickier to install is the facial interface the one that lets you feel the headshots on your head Luckily, there are the instructions that help you in the process, but basically it is very uh, simple to install it as well. So what you have to do is to remove your facial, previous facial interface. In this case, I had the special Luxy Labs one, but you can also have the standard one. And then use the Velcro to attach, of course, the part with the Velcro in the back here on your headset. So it's something quite simple. My advice is to make sure that this part doesn't go too much inside, otherwise you won't be able to breathe again in, while wearing the Behaptics uh, faceplate. Um, here you have the face, vibrating face mask, it's pretty cool. Um, the only thing that remains here is the box with the Bluetooth and the computational power. So there are two ways that you can install it. If you want just to make a quick test of Behaptics, my advice is to leave it here like this. And it should work quite well. If instead you want to keep it for a long time, permanent installation, there are in the setup box some adhesive with Velcro uh, strips. So you can attach, for instance, them here 
one here, one here, and then you attach the box here. The instructions say to do this way. So you have a behavior ticks always attached to your vibe. So uh, depends on when you want to use it, choose one approach or the other. Okay, so um, after we are ready for the hardware, it's time to download the software. So you have to go to the Behaptics website, then select support and make download. In the download, you find the Behaptics player. So select your version. I select the Windows 10 and then let me download the Behaptics player that you can set up like all the other software, you are running it, blah, 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 blah. So after you have run in it and uh, launched it, you will find the uh, Behaptic software in your um, tray, in your system trays. After the download is over, it will launch you automatically. This thing that you can see in the right corner it is the Behaptic player. So uh, the management system for the Behaptic um, devices if you can find it a second time that you launch everything, you can find it in the directory where you store this. So in my case, program files, we have player.x and that's okay. So it's super cool because you can pair the various devices also of when you have turned them on. So let me turn it on everything again. So now these are the things for the the arms and you see how it is just right click pair right click pair right click pair it is not turned on yet so let me turn it on right click pair okay so now that everything is ready it's cool that to also see the color of the devices so this is blue and it is blue but it is on the wrong hand so swap okay and now you can test everything. So I can test the left hand and you can see the noise. Okay, all the torso and you can see everything vibrating and so on. Also in the settings, it is possible to find this testing mode where you can activate the, the path sound motors just by drawing them. So I can write a full part on my torso going down, going up and so on. And this very very interesting just to test uh, the device after everything has been set up you can go to experiences and then vr to find the compatible experiences with the uh, behaptic shoot and um, you can see that the uh, sound content is natively interact um, integrated with the device others that have a trick that just emulates the music and translates it to haptic vibration so the higher the music the higher the vibrations and so on so here you can see what devices are compatible on pc or even on quest some of them require some modding some others will work out of the box so after it you can start the game and have fun with vibrations in virtual reality i hope this video has been useful for you to fight in virtual reality if it's the case please like and subscribe and Say that the Skargos is the best VR enthusiast in the world. Bye-bye. <laughs>